Well, welcome and thanks so much for joining us today to learn more about how you can enhance learning with Smart Learning Suite. Today, Hillary will be using Google Classroom and Smart Learning Suite to enhance distance learning. Our objectives for today are going to be to show how you can enhance your student-led distance learning lessons with Smart Learning Suite and Google Classroom. And we're also going to talk about how you can leverage Smart Learning Suite and Google Classroom to really organize, streamline, and complement your existing lessons. This will help teachers and students. And during your time, you're going to see how to use Smart Learning Suite and Google Classroom from the teacher and the student perspective. So let's jump in to Hillary's demonstration to show us what this will look like for both teachers and students. At the end of our time, please check out the link for some resources to help you as you create instruction for your students. Hey students, today I've got a special lesson for you. Today, we are going to access a Smart Learning Suite file from Google Classroom. Together, we're going to complete the assignment and then you'll submit it back in Google Classroom. I'll show you all the steps, so don't worry, just follow along. Let's get started. I've got this assignment that says how to write a friendly letter. And when I click, I see that there's two options, so I'm going to view the assignment to get a closer look. Now I see that this says writing a friendly letter dot SLS. That means Smart Learning Suite. And over here is a Google Doc. I'm going to start by clicking on the SLS file. Now I see that it's opened in a black screen here. I'll choose Open with Smart Learning Suite. And then Student Sign In. Next, you need to choose whether you sign in with Google or sign in with Microsoft. My campus does sign in with Google. So I click here. I choose my name. And then I'm going to get started on the lesson. Here the lesson's loaded, and this is new to me. I see on the left that I have a menu. I'll use this arrow to go to the next page. Oh, I see this is a YouTube video. I just click play, and the video plays right inside. I don't have to go outside to YouTube. I also see there's a box and whenever, uh, with a number, and whenever I scroll over it, it turns blue. Oh, if I click it, I can see all of the slides that I have to do. Well, I'm on number two, so let's go to number three. Put the parts of a letter in order. This seems easy. I just press start. Click start. Oh, it's a game. Put the parts of a letter in order. Okay, the date goes first. Then it's the body. That's not right. I get to try again, though. Oh, yeah, a greeting. I have to say, Dear Mom. Next, the body. That's where I give my ideas. Finally, I have to close this somehow, like love or your friend. And then last goes my name. Yes, I got them all right. Now I could review it, replay it, or move on to the next one. I think I'll just move on. Here I am on slide number four. This is something else that says start. I'll click here and see what to do. Parts of a letter puzzle. Use the word bank below to build a friendly letter in the proper order. Oh, I see, this is a letter. Now, if I were in class, I'd probably just write what I needed to do over here, but I'm working on the computer. So I could use the pencil in order to write with my mouse. I could put the date here, but it's a little hard for me to write with my mouse. Maybe you're good at it. Also, if I was on a touch screen, I could use my finger to write. The other option I have is this A. That means that I can type. Now, I'm looking for something that says dear. Dear grandma. Dear, oops, dear grandma. Don't forget the comma. Okay, that looks perfect. Now I just have love and Jenna left, and I have to fix the date. Love goes here. 
Then Jenna goes here. Now I've made a mistake at the top and I'm not sure how I can fix it. But if I look over here, I think this is an eraser. Hmm. It worked. Can I erase my text? No, that's good to know. But what if I made a mistake? Just click it and press the trash can. All right, let's put that final one up here. March 31, 2020. That was a while ago. Okay, let's finish this up. Oh, I have to press done. That means I'm finished because all my tools are gone. Now let's go to the last page. Number five. Now let's write a letter. When you finish, ask an adult to help you mail or email the letter. People you can write a letter to. Your teacher, grandma and grandpa, a relative who lives far away, a neighbor, a classmate. There's lots of options. Now I don't see anything on here for me to click done or finished. That's because it automatically saves what I've done. I can just press the exit and go back to my Google Classroom. So exit. Exit, back in my Google Classroom. Now I'm back in Google Classroom and I've completed the writing a friendly letter .sls file, but I haven't completed the entire assignment. You see, there's still a Google Doc over here. So I'll click the Google Doc to finish my assignment in Google Classroom. Directions, please use the proper formatting to write a letter to a friend or family member. Oh yeah, that was the last slide in my Smart Learning Suite file. So I know at the top goes the date, April 27, 2020. Then it's a greeting, dear mom. Then it's the body of my letter. I hope you had a good day at work. I missed you. Whoops, I forgot a period. I missed you. Then it's my closing, love. Then my signature, Bora. Now, when you're finished, you just press turn it in, or you can go to Google Classroom and press turn it in here. I'll press turn in. One attachment will be submitted. That's correct. I'm going to press turn in. And now that's it. You've completed a Smart Learning Suite file through Google Classroom, and you've turned your letter in. The end. Hey teachers, today I'm going to show you how to take a Smart Learning Suite file that you have saved in your Google Drive and upload it to Google Classroom so that your students can participate in a student-led learning experience. All right, let's get started. We're going to use the Create button to assign an assignment in Google Classroom. Add a title. Mine is How to Write a Friendly Letter. Add any directions that your students may need. And then we're going to use the Add button in order to choose an SLS file from our Google Drive. Click Add, choose Google Drive, and then locate your file. I know mine's on my Drive homepage. Scroll down, and here's my Smart Learning Suite file. I have two clues that this is a Smart Learning Suite file. One, I have the Smart Learning Suite icon here. Also, when I hover, I can see that the title says Writing a Friendly Letter dot sls for smart learning suite i'll click here and choose add now the settings for this file are set correctly i do want to leave this on students can view file but i would also like to add a google doc for my students to complete at the end of completing this writing a friendly letter lesson so i'll click add again and go to my google drive because i've already created a template for my students to use so if I scroll down and click here, here's my template that I'd like my students to use. And I'm going to click Add. Now since this is a Google Doc and I do want each of my students to edit it, I'm going to change it from Students Can View File to make a copy for each student. This way, when students complete their Writing a Friendly Letter lesson in Smart Learning Suite, they'll come back to Google Classroom and actually get to practice the part of the lesson where they write their own friendly letter. And I'll have each student's individual copy saved in Google Drive and in Google Classroom. On the right, you can choose any settings that you would like to do. And finally, you choose either Assign, 
schedule, or save draft for this assignment. I'd like to schedule this for next week, so I'm going to choose that this will come out on May 4th at 8 a.m. Next, I click Schedule. Here it is, How to Write a Friendly Letter, scheduled for May 4th at 8 a.m. Well, thanks, Hillary, for walking us through how to use Google Classroom and Smart Learning Suite. So, we have some resources here for you all today to refer back to after our time together. This Bitly site, Smart Distance, with capital letters for SMART, will take you to these links. If you're interested in learning how to use Smart Learning Suite with distance learning, we have a site for you to refer to. We have some ideas on how you can create distance learning lessons for your students, and also some ready-made activities for you and your students. All right, some other resources that we have for you if you're interested in learning more about how to create Smart Learning Suite online lessons, this link right here will take you to uh, this site that'll help you get started to create and enhance your lessons, launch lessons, and engage students um, using their own devices. We know that you are interested in sharing your lessons through Google Classroom. So you might be using a Google integration with Smart Learning Suite. So if I'm using Smart Learning Suite and my Google Drive together, this is a great guide for you to come back to. Now right here is a, a page to help you refer to how you can use Google Classroom with Smart Learning Suite. So this may be a great page for you to refer to. We also have for you um, pages on how you can create and edit your lessons using Google Drive and Smart Learning Suite. Or if you're a Google Meet user, maybe how to deliver lessons using Google Meet and Smart Learning Suite. All right, so another resource we have for you is a link to, our, to register for our Ready, Set, Smart webinars. We have regular webinars coming up to help you create and plan instruction or to, to deepen your students' learning using Smart Learning Suite. Again, this Bitly site will take you to all of these resources. We love to stay connected with you, so you're more than welcome to connect with us on one of these social media platforms. Or if you created an awesome lesson you'd love to share with us, you can tag us at hashtag SmartChampion. We'd love to see what you're working on with your students. Also, after today, if you have any questions or you'd like to contact us further, you can email us at implementationteam at smarttech.com. So I'll show you the resource link just one more time. And all of these resources are right here for you, so you can continue to use Smart Learning Suite online and Google Classroom. Thanks again, everyone.